Right, so uh, I had a little bit of an idea. Kind of want to try it out. I personally don't think it's that big of a deal, but I uh, apparently am in the uh, minority camp on this. But the saving on the Easy Flash Omega is apparently just not really good, according to most people. I've had this thing not since it launched, but I don't know, like a month or two after. And I have personally never once had a corrupt SD card. Uh, but for those that don't know what's going on, the uh, how the save works on this cart in particular is when you save in-game, it writes the save file to internal SRAM on this cart here. And then once the save is complete, the uh, there's a hypervisor on the Easy Flash Omega that then takes the contents of the SRAM and copies it to your micro SD card. Uh, so basically once the save is completed in game, the hardware itself starts saving. And long story short, you basically just have to count out loud to yourself, you know, to five or whatever before you turn it off. Otherwise, if you interrupt the micro SD card write operation, it will uh, basically corrupt your entire SD card. You'll lose your ROMs, you'll lose your saves, you'll lose everything. Again, personally, I've never had any issues, but I am uh, apparently one of the few who actually read the manual. Um, one of the things I find helps is to just keep your finger off of the power switch while you're saving. I don't know about you guys, but years and years of playing Game Boy got me in the habit of hitting save and then hovering your finger over the power switch while you wait for it just so you can flip it as soon as it completes. But that's not, that's a bad habit to get into regardless. Anyway, uh, I had an idea and then, you know, I voiced that idea and then someone linked me a video where someone had actually already completed that idea. Uh, so this idea in particular, the implementation is coming from Ricardo Boninsegna. Excuse me if I'm butchering that. Uh, he did upload about a minute long video on YouTube basically showing what he did. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing here. Uh, the idea is we're going to add an LED as, a, as an activity indicator to the micro SD slot. Now, unfortunately, there's no real good way to do this except by soldering directly to the micro SD slot, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Um, so first thing, I'm going to need an LED. I got here a pink surface mount. I think this is an 0603 LED. Uh, pink because that was in the top of my parts drawer. Uh, resistor, in this particular case, I'm using a 3000 ohm resistor. I'm not sure if this is a good value. Um, lower value resistor would mean a brighter LED, but it could also result in corrupting the SD card itself. Um, and that is obviously not a desirable result. So we're going to go with 3000 and uh, go from there. Um, an even higher value resistor would probably work even better, but then the LED will just be so dim that it won't even matter. Anyway, uh, I guess let's go ahead and get started with some wires. I'm not going to make this too long. I am going to be soldering straight to the uh, micro SD slot. Unfortunately, with how this is set up, the solder pins are underneath the slot, so that's where I have to solder. I'm going to try my best to use as thin wire as possible. In this case, I'm using 30 gauge Kynar or 30 gauge solid core wire. I like Kynar in particular, mostly because it's what I can get locally and it's a lot easier to work with than like the enamel magnet wire. But another good choice would be uh, like wire wrapping wire. So in particular, we want from the left, we want pins two and three. Uh, pin 2 is the data 0 line, and pin 3 is the ground. I'm going to do a little bit of flux. And 
Just some more solder to these pins here. And this is a fantastic way to void your warranty. I mean, not that Easy Flash Omegas really have warranties, I don't think, but this is a fancy way of saying uh, don't do this at home if you're not prepared to screw it up. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit more flux. Bigger the gob, better the job. And I'm going to start by just soldering a wire to pin two. I probably should have zoomed the camera in. I'm sorry about that. You know what? Hang on. I need to pause for a second and lay down the law. Someone, someone keeps digging at my wires here. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. And zoom in. Oh, that's too much. I can't actually fit my hand under the camera now. Okay. Add a little bit more flux. I should, oops, also use some like helping hands or something. I need a PCB vise. Hold this stuff while I'm working on it. There we go. So the idea is to solder to those two pins there. It's nice and tight. I'm gonna have to clean up this uh, no clean flux, but that's okay. I'm just gonna bend these wires up. And get a little isopropyl alcohol and a cotton swab here. card should still fit perfectly and indeed it does I'm gonna leave that out though because that's covered in uh, isopropyl alcohol <laughs> let it evaporate okay so now what I want to do I need to attach my resistor and my LED it does not matter which side the resistor goes on it just needs to go in series with the LED And because I am some sort of monster, I'm just going to solder this surface mount resistor straight to the wire. This should be fine. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Ta-da! Then, I'm going to solder my LEDs straight to that resistor. There's almost definitely a better way to do this, uh, and it probably involves using through-hole parts instead of surface mount parts, but I'm working with what I got here. Okay. Oh, shoot. I 
Sorry if that hard drive noise is coming through loud and clear, and if it's annoying. My computer decided it's time for maintenance or something. Uh, okay, so in this particular LED, I'm going to apologize if that's next to impossible to see, uh, but there's like a green T or something. Um, it's upside down how I'm holding it. How this works is that points to the negative, I think. We'll have to double check that. So how this works is I want to solder pin 2 to the positive side and pin 3 to the negative side. So I need to flip this around. Or just drop it. That works too. That is some nasty soldering, but it's kind of the hand I dealt myself. Okay. So yeah, that's uh, it's not great, but it's 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 what I'm gonna go with. Okay. And I'm gonna try and solder that on like that. What I should have done is made one of these shorter. But I wasn't really thinking that far ahead. Don't worry, I'll get there eventually. There's just one argument in favor of uh, through hole parts instead of surface mount for this nonsense. Not a solid joint, but I suppose it doesn't really have to be. Just good enough. Once I know this works, I'm just going to encase this whole mess in hot glue anyway. So let's try it out. And to try it out, I'm actually going to run the wires through this bottom part. And because there's no real um, space for that, I'm just going to drill a hole. But let's make sure it's in a good spot. So right at the end here should be good enough. That was probably too small a bit. Yeah, it's a little on the small side. The smart thing to do would be to get up and get a larger bit. I am not having a good night. I'm sorry. There we go. And 
we'll just stick that in there for now. I'm thinking slightly shorter wire would have been better, but that's quite all right. And if all went well, not only should this thing still boot, but I should have an indicator light whenever the SD is being read. Rather, I'm going to have an indicator light pretty much always, but I should have a brighter indicator light. So you can see it kind of flicker in there. So after this is done saving, that should get brighter for a second or so. There you go. That's the operation. You can see when that's done doing whatever the hell it's doing, you're good to shut it off. Um, again, a, a uh, what am, what's the word I'm looking for? A smaller value resistor would make that LED a lot brighter, but it could also interfere with um, with the actual data operations, and that would be no bueno. So let's test it out. Let's see if I corrupted my save. Everything loaded so far, so that's good. Yeah, there you go. That works. Um, I'm not going to rely on this, but I am going to clean up my wiring and keep it because, you know, I already went through this effort. Uh, but if you want to do that, there you go. I mean, I suppose this might be useful for any one of the few games that kind of saves without actually saying anything on screen. Um, sorry, camera cut me off mid train of thought. Um, as I was saying, I believe this would be good for any one of those games with auto save. I believe Fire Emblem has that or Golden Sun or I'm sorry, I, I, I don't actually know. I've never played either. I just heard one of the two did. Uh, anyway, I had to let the camera cool down. I did end up cleaning up my wiring just a little bit. I put a little bit of heat shrink on there. Unfortunately, I didn't have clear heat shrink in the right size. So I just used black heat shrink around everything but the LED. And I don't know, hopefully that'll be good enough. I decided not to just glob the whole thing in hot glue and call it a day. But uh, I don't know, should be good. And I repositioned it a little. It's a bit easier to see. Um, but it's not very bright, so I suppose this would only be good in, uh, you know, dark areas, perhaps. And again, you're looking for a change in brightness, not necessarily that it goes on and off. So your mileage may vary, but I guess this mod enables you, if you see, if you're in game and you see that flash, you know, at, wait at least a second before turning your game off. Otherwise, I think it works pretty nicely. Let me just do it one more time. And it's saving. And there goes the easy flash, and then we can power it off. No more counting, I guess, but I don't know. I guess I will let you know if my SD card ends up getting corrupt by relying on that light instead of just the old-fashioned counting method, or um, if the LED itself, just by being attached to the data bus, ends up corrupting the SD card. Who knows? There you have it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.